Hi everyone, my name is Lauren White and I work with SciTech Discovery Center. Today we are going to be making nature masks. Now masks are a very important part of studying history, but they're also an important part of studying the world around us. Archaeologists will use masks to look at what people are able to make using materials that they had available to them at the for example, these masks found in Africa are mostly carved from wood with paint and other decorations added. Studying the structure of the masks helps us know what types of plants, animals, and minerals were available to people in certain areas at that time. In contrast, these theater masks from ancient Greece were mostly made of linen and decorated with paint and hair. Because of this, they have all disintegrated and archaeologists have to study paintings of them instead and make guesses about how they functioned. All of these masks from all over the world help us understand not only about the people who made them, but what materials and tools they had available to them. A little bit more about masks, we're going to create our own. This is a great activity to do at home because a lot of these materials we'll already have around the house. You're going to need some scissors, some sort of adhesive. You can use whatever you think is easiest. I use both tape and glue. You're also going to need something to have as the base of your mask. I use cardstock because I liked how thick it was. You could also use regular paper, cardboard, anything that you could either print a mask template on or draw a mask. Another thing that you can change and make personalized is you can either do a half mask like I did or you can do a full mask. It's whatever you would prefer. Once you have those materials collected, you can go outside and start picking out your decorations. Now, I went out and I just started thinking about what I might want to put on a mask. So I picked up some foliage, different types of leaves, some sticks. I didn't necessarily use everything, but anything that I was interested in or I thought had a cool texture to it, I decided to pick up. Just make sure that when you're taking anything from outside that you do it safely and make sure that you know you aren't picking up a dangerous plant. Once you have your materials all ready, you can cut your mask out and start decorating. This is going to be your mask. You can design it however you would like. Another activity you can do in addition to or instead of creating your own mask is that when you're researching masks, a lot of educational websites offer free printable coloring pages. This is especially great for younger children, and you can use them to focus on the mask's colors and shapes. Thank you for watching. Please follow us here for more fun science videos or our Facebook and Instagram to stay up to speed with more great activities.